Hello, hello everybody. Welcome uh, again for a new uh, little uh, video analyze. analyze. We're gonna do a look at some video of uh, two scaler. I received quite some video uh, since uh, last Friday about technical analyze. So I will do a two scaler tonight and I will do a two different scaler also on um, next uh, next Friday evening normally. Uh, still about uh, 8 p.m. Uh, CET time uh, like today. So what uh, we can see on this two scaler, it's gonna be a little bit shorter video as uh, the other days because we got I think uh, more and more uh, information. We don't need to stay so long on each of the video. And so let's start with by looking a little bit this scaler. It's filmed from a little bit far, so not so easy to analyze, but. Uh, quite a good technique, really like the way he's skating. I think he, from what I remember, but not sure, he's like 54 years old, so quite impressive. Uh, I think he's skating a little bit uphill at this moment, so also a little more power needed uh, for this. Uh, kind of double push technique, a uh, little bit different from the left leg to the right leg. Uh, actually doing quite good on his left leg, so right part of the video here. I really like the way he's trying to push to the inside. It's, it's quite dynamic in the inside push with left leg. But something uh, probably we can uh, talk about, especially for the right leg. So we will always, uh, like we try to do on every time, use uh, the blender scaler to, uh, to find out some little tip so let's talk a little bit of his technique so first let's let's stop on this image i really like what is really good on this let me try to add a whiteboard so i can draw on the picture a whiteboard where is my whiteboard I need to find my tools. I forget to put it here. Where is this? Hmm. I don't know where is my whiteboard, so I need to find it because I want to draw something, of course, on the skater. I, I really like actually, um, he's very uh, in good line between the, the ankle, the knee, the um, the hip and the shoulders is doing uh, quite good in this so that's a strong point here's my whiteboard let me add it up okay so this line uh, i really like i can draw it better this line here it's almost perfect and that's really the strong point of his technique it's a little bit on the outside or it's gonna go a little bit on the outside so it's it's really a strong point of, uh, of his technique for sure. Uh, it's very really important to do this and he's doing good. The the push also is up. Uh, let's before going to the push I will keep going on the, the lines. The, the Also the orientation of his skate. I really like here it's like the skate is going a little bit in this direction and not really straight or not really open. So it's a little bit close at the landing here. So it's perfect to draw probably the the double push part okay you i think you understand what i'm drawing so for sure his left skate will go little bit and drawing something like if i make it a little bigger it's gonna draw something like this that is giving a good glide a good pushing moment so a really really good i really like uh, i really like this <coughs> it's perfect things other things he's doing super good He's, he's pushing quite far, so he has quite a good uh, pushing uh, distance and he can keep all his wheels on the ground. That means he's pushing far but with pressure on the wheels, so that's very good. Many skaters, they will try to push far but without pressure. Here I can feel, I can see he has pressure on the skate, so uh, very good, very good pressure on the skate still for uh, distance from a quite long push, a very good point also. Third good things he's doing is like look at the orientation of the skates here also. It's not very open 
for this part of the push, it's very good that he tried to close the skate during the push. So I think also one or one more very good point. Uh, I, I go. I keep going in the good point at the moment because we can see a lot on this picture. Also, let's see. Let's look the line of the hip. It looks like the hip they stay flat here. It looks like the shoulders they stay flat. So quite also quite also a good point in his technique here. <clears throat> it's quite solid. So very good. He can transfer a lot of power, and that's why he is going quite fast. Uh, on this video so that's really quite impressive really like what i see here on the other leg <clears throat> i'm not exactly at the same moment but it's like he give up the pressure earlier so there is a problem on the on the on his uh, on his right leg here here something is going uh, is little bit strange and that's creating problem so, almost the, the line is still good, but let's go on the scaler to try to, to show you uh, what's going wrong in this. So, let's say it's, I try to find almost the same moment, and it's somewhere like here, I would say, something like this, or right, even later. Oh, it will be at the beginning of my animation. It will be something here. So one of the big difference here, even more far I can go, is bringing back almost the leg. Let's say it's somewhere here. Okay, so more or less the same moment. My skater, Blender skater, is a little bit too aerodynamic, almost a little bit too perfect there. But the problem here, in the technique of uh, this skater is here at the the ankle articulation is little bit uh, not as good as on the other leg on the other leg he accept to go on the outside edge here it's like it's not really going on the outside edge it's little bit uh, conflict between not really go good between this line I cannot do it why between this line and between this it's a little bit it's a little too much on my drawing here but i can see a little conflict here in this part of the skating that is not really bringing enough power compared to what he is giving so it should i think you have to work on the stability on your right leg and accept little more the outside edge i could imagine not very easy to see from this distance from this uh, um, point of view but it could be your setting i have the feeling from this picture that your frame is too much on the outside so maybe uh, you had a little injury in the ankle uh, back in the days or something or maybe not enough stability on your right leg but i feel that your setting is not really enough in the inside of your frame the frame is not enough compared to your inside compared to your shoes and it looks like you're afraid or it's difficult to take the outside edge like needed the left leg was very good the right leg it's your weak point at the moment in your technique so on the blender it's like it's like this if i try to select um correctly i need to go in the good mode let's say no, not this. I think it's good. This, it's little bit like it's like this. I try to go clearly from the front. You see here, there is a little conflict somewhere in your ankle articulation compared to the other leg. It should be more accepting accepting the outside edge to be lined with your tibial uh, bone i think but here it's like it's going like this it's not so bad but it's i can feel there is a a little conflict somewhere so if you have to work something check your setting work your balance on the left leg because uh, that's the main point i think you can improve in your technique for the rest it's quite impressive i really like it so let's go if check if we can see 
some other point he's moving also a little bit uh, the shoulders up and down but not so bad I think it's more like he's using um, the upper body in a little timing to help him because it's going uphill at the moment I think it, that's why the shoulders they go a little bit up and down but not so bad I think it's a uh, it's quite a good uh, it's quite a good work let's look on this picture again how the um, is doing really good for this I really like it the um, again here the hip or the body weight center is here and he will bring the hip later in this direction to um, to get a body weight transfer to get an inside push at the same time so he's bringing the body weight here he will bring the skate to the inside so for double push it's a it's a big uh, big nice movement he's doing really good uh, really impressive and a good timing in it so that's a uh, very good I like this and the other leg you don't have it so much just like I say probably because of the um, because of the lack of stability uh, the lack of stability with uh, with your left or your right foot I'm, I'm a little lost in my words so let's have a look a little bit again of this check the timing because it's quite a good timing I like the rhythm we have in this technique it's a little bit far at this moment and try to look the ankle position we can clearly see that something is going very good on the left leg and something is fighting a little bit on the right on the right leg so um, it's not so easy to see but I can feel the movement is a little bit weird sometime on the right leg but very nice effort for the double push the body weight the body weight is also moving quite good side to side so it's little it's quite effortless I really like uh, his technique uh, sometimes the landing is, is quite soft also uh, it's little aggressive in the maybe in the inside push so trying to use the glutes it's like your landing push inside like you want to use the glutes uh, maybe you can try with when you are uh, dynamic like this you can try to use more the quadriceps double push by pushing more down and bring all the upper body little bit up together at this moment but uh, it's I like more the glutes double push a little bit like you are doing but um, maybe not so dynamic or this rhythm this dynamic you have it's more for quadriceps uh, double push I think so quite good congratulations for this feel free to send me some video again uh, in few months maybe we can see some improvements especially on your uh, right leg so let's jump now in the second video of the day it's a skater from Netherlands quite active on uh, this YouTube channel is always asking good question and um, and uh, making nice comments so it's good so let's have a look at this technique So first we have a, a quick look of what he's doing also some kind of double push movement in it uh, very smooth very smooth technique I would say kind of lazy technique I really like when people they try to roll effortless it's a, it's a good sign of what's happening in your head when you're skating like this you try to relax but let's say at the level you have it's maybe too relaxed I would say um, I forget uh, your name sorry maybe you're online no not yet I think you're too relaxed in it and so it's good to be lazy I always tell in my video you have to be a bit lazy in the effort you're doing but in this in this in the video you're showing here you are doing too less effort probably and especially uh, first uh, little uh, too easy on the on the position you use so you're a little bit too high so if you look at it should have a um, let's say a side view to be able to see it good so let's take this skater to have a look 
it's like you're skating and you almost you almost here so it's super effortless but it's very hard to create an inside push and a normal push uh, classic push later so you only kind of skating with your body weight so try to go a little bit more down maybe already this should be enough because you're, you're really almost there at the moment try to go kind of somewhere here it should be enough and it it will be a bit uh, more painful for the leg at the beginning but you would be able to invest into in some uh, uh, more timing for uh, creating pressure on the ground and generating more power i think so even for this speed you have to get more grounded and it it comes from having a little lower position if we look also um, the, the point you have to start working in second after this position is it will be uh, about um, the ankle position you are a little bit um, too soft I would say with the stability on your uh, ankle position and I can see this clearly for example at this moment on this picture here it's let's take the whiteboard again you have the ankle that are a little bit opposite so the direction here of your skate is good it's quite good you can see that it could draw the double push things okay but uh, you have this line that are not correct almost like the skater before it's little bit not like this it's little bit like broken the line again and believe me when those lines are broken you lose a lot of power and a lot of efficiency actually in your technique the upper body line good shoulders hip knee looks quite good but from hip from the knee to the ankle here you have a problem to solve it's like you don't accept to go on your outside edge of the wheels so this is a workout maybe you can check uh, you know you have some letters and some design on your wheels check that if you uh, burn a little bit the design of your wheels when they are on the outside when they are new if you don't touch those um, letters on your wheels it means you don't go enough on your outside edge so here you're clearly kind of having straight or almost only to the inside and it's uh, it's quite a problem for you um, to keep rolling easy let's say the left the right leg is a little better but still here is not is not enough outside edge the line is good okay so the line is good almost good it's not could be a bit better but this line is good on the right leg on the right uh, side but the left side like we showed before you have a problem in the ankle part so this is something second point you could improve first your position second accept more outside edge on your skate you see clearly again uh, we can see I will draw again because it's a very important point it's always there still it's kind of straight here and here it's going outside so this is the the main problem I see in your technique at this moment I try to go further I hope it's not crashing I don't know if you're still there yes it looks like it's good I'm a little bit aggressive with my computer too many program on so I will try to close some maybe uh, it will help because I didn't close all the programs so far so I hope I'm still there I don't see any more the videos yes so let's give me give me a little second maybe it will come back here I lost my example sorry about that let's try again maybe I try to reload uh, the video maybe it will help 
I don't know. Sorry, I think it's a uh, it's little bit uh, it's a uh, yawn. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, you are a little bit unlucky. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't come back, I will uh, I will do it uh, again um, next Friday. Let's see if I change my view. Maybe it's gonna be better. I hope it's coming back. Yes. So let's try again. I needed maybe to do this. Yes, you're back. That's nice. I, I close the blender so we don't have less example, but still it works. So let's go back on your video and try to find out again some points. So first, pos fix your position. Second, fix or accept more to use uh, the outside edge. Quite important. The good point you have is the fluidity in your timing. I think you do it quite smooth. Kind of in a lazy way which is what i recommend but maybe just a little too lazy here then i want to show also now this moment during your all push the third point you could improve will be um, this moment the orientation of your skate it's super open here so it, it will be open at the beginning of the push but the goal is between the beginning of the push Till, till the end of the push you have to try to close your skate again and here it's open and you just you just let it go this all this direction so um, it make it quite hard uh, to get a, a better push so just try from here you should be it's not easy to get the you see it's open again and it should start to it's almost the same line you have it's almost the same line, and here it should go already more like here, and then more even less, and then here again. So you want to slowly close your push, your, your the orientation of your skate. You want to close it during the push, and here it's just staying in one line. So that's a, a problem to um, that. Uh, don't, make a short push actually it gives you a short push and it also influence your timing because if your push could be uh, longer in this i mean it will not be very much longer but it will, you will get much more uh, grip or pressure to push so you would have more uh, gliding later to apply your double push or maybe to apply or control your edge so uh, Quite, uh, I think, a, a, a good walking track for you. Little bit lower, it will be painful for the next two weeks when you try this. Walk your slalom on one leg. I will almost say this in every technical video for this because it's the classic and this is what people forget to do most of the time. So walk your ankle to accept more outside edge. Actually, there was one good outside edge here. And then try to close the orientation on your skate uh, during the push okay i think it will uh, help you to be more relaxed and it will give you even more time to think of some small details to improve your technique but uh, already quite good i like the the smoothness of your technique it's uh, it's a good quality and uh, now it's working on the other detail okay i will check now in the in the comment maybe there was some question uh, that i didn't saw I didn't announce this live, I just do it when I have a little bit time uh, at the end of the day, like this, but most of the time on Friday, I will have one again with two other skaters I will uh, analyze. I can see people from Florida, from Germany, from India, from Belgium, that's quite good, thank you. And what else? Okay, do it. how can I, choose, I close it without falling? So that's the, the skater which on the video, which actually on the live, Jan Boven. I have to open it to get my body weight to the other side, that's true. But during, as soon as your body weight move over and that you are going to the classic push, then you have to walk uh, from your hip. It's like you have to do an internal rotation in the hip, okay? It's a little bit with the ankle, but it's mainly a movement that you have to do from your hip to bring your skate like this to get more pressure on your skate. Really, uh, I think uh, even if you go a little bit lower, it will be, it will help in this layer, okay? So because you will have more, um, a, a longer pushing time and pushing distance to control this 
uh, I don't know the English name for this, but this open to close uh, position. So, so it's uh, it's really a focus you have to go. You have skaters also from from Hungary watching this, from New York City, from Dubai. So really cool. So Jon, I hope uh, it's gonna help you. Three point again, I tell you, get a little bit lower with your hip and try to fix it. Work the stability on the outside edge or global of um, of all your the ankle and the orientation of your skate during the push. So quite uh, quite interesting. Maybe if you want to cheat a little bit, make check the um, check the frame position, the shoes compared to uh, your frame. Check it and make sure it's not open. Uh, I made a video about how to set up your skate. And when your shoes is like this, and if your frame is already open, then it it goes automatically out. So as you're scaling mainly a straight line here, make sure that if the shoes is here, the frame is a little bit in close from the front. So I always put the front of my frame a little bit to the inside because it's really helping to do this movement. Okay. Besides this, the drawing, all the beginning of the double push drawing of your skate is quite good. Just at the end, it's going uh, away a little fast uh, from you. So yeah, you're gonna work it good. Uh, for the other skater, uh, there was also some uh, good tip. I think he had also a very good technique. Thanks for following. I think oh, maybe I have another question. I'm moving for four times 100 millimeters to three times 125 next week. Cool. Uh, nice to always try some new skate. It's uh, always good experience. Are there any bad double push habits from this transition? Um, yeah, not really bad habits, but going from a four times 100 millimeters skate to a three times 125, uh, the, dif the difference will be the height, basically. And when you go higher, it's a little harder to manage the edge. Okay, on four times 100, actually it's my favorite skate. The, when I was competing, the four times 100 was my favorite skate. It, could, uh, you can play with the skate very good, get short frame if needed. It was fast enough. So I really love the 4 times 100 millimeter skate. But when you go to 3 times 125, it will roll better. So sometimes uh, you can become kind of blind by rolling uh, without doing anything. So And it's not because it's rolling more that you have to forget to improve a bit the technique. Okay, that's the little bit the... The weak point from uh, going on um, 125, you become a bit lazy. It's rolling already easy, so we don't make the efforts. If you want to go really to the next speed, keep some effort on the technique, experiment a lot, and accept that the edge to edge will be less uh, aggressive than on 4 times 100. Okay, 4 times 100, we can really play like this. 125, we play smaller orientation of the, of the skate i think so thank you for your question um, you can always keep sending me some video uh, i don't know if i am able to answer back to every video i receive but I, here is my email so if you want to uh, to send again some video uh, friday i will uh, analyze again two other skater i think i have one skater uh, from Poland and the other one um, from Spain to uh, to a girl, so um, will be cool. And uh, okay, thank you for following this. We meet again on Friday 8 p.m. CET time, and Friday and Saturday evening uh, we're gonna have a surprise. So I will do a live Saturday evening, and I will probably announce it uh, from tomorrow on my Instagram. Uh, it will be a bit of a special uh, video with some friend of mine. So stay tuned and see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.